Hi guys, this is Thalia. Welcome back to Friendly Fire. Wow, has it been a while since I have posted a video. Um, this has just been a really busy season for me coming into the new school year and just a lot of different things that we have had going on um, just in our family, like just with new schooling stuff with the kids and just a lot of stuff going on. So it's been crazy. It's been so hard for me to find time to do these videos during the day because I want to have sunlight because when you try to do a video at night it does not turn out too great right um, not enough lighting <laughs> so um, so anyways I wanted to really come back on here though uh, today to tell a little bit about what has just taken place in my family and what's been going on and things that the Lord has been teaching me and showing me and um, we oh man it's kind of like to start this video I was like okay Lord like where do I start even right now but um, uh, it's been it's been crazy so as far as healing uh, it was maybe about like a week and a half ago now I started feeling like this random weird pain on the back right side of my back and I'm like that's odd like what what's going on you know um, just no problem prayed to it spoke to it you know committed to be healed in Jesus name and didn't worry about it um, as the days went on though it started to get worse instead of going away which is typically what happens when you know I pray and I speak to something it just would go away um, so I wasn't sure why but still didn't pay much attention to it just spoke to it again had my husband speak to it pray to it um, again to go away and uh, you know still didn't go away um, got worse when pain gets worse you know what uh, we have a tendency to do is um, to start to get a little bit worried which I knew wasn't right. You know, I know that the Bible says walk by faith, not by sight. Same thing as far as walk by faith, not by what you feel. Um, so I'm like, okay, Lord, I know I'm healed. You know, I know that when I pray, there's authority. I know that you've given me, you know, you like as Christians, he's what he did at the cross. He gave us, and this is just beautiful, I um, actually was reading this recently in a book. I've been listening a lot to the, to Acts, um, Acts of the Apostles, uh, and just kind of like re-listening to those, um, the Bible, the chapters in Acts, and um, re-listening to them over and over. And then also was picking up this book that I have by Curry Blake. Has anyone else heard of Curry Blake? By the way, little side note here, amazing, okay? And if people want more information on an amazing teaching on healing by him please put a message under this video here either on my um, YouTube channel or on my Facebook page under the video and I will put the link out there to an amazing teaching by Curry Blake it's on YouTube and it is 17 hours worth of teaching I listened to this was it back in the summer early summer spring maybe Amazing. I had never heard of Curry Blake before, and um, this one uh, kid who Brad and I are friends with, um, amazing guy. Anyways, uh, he taught, told us about Curry Blake. It was like, I think you guys really like, like his stuff, and we started listening to it, and we were just blown away, like blown away at his teachings and how simple they are on healing his story, his testimony about how he got... Um, you know, latched on to healing is unbelievable. And just how he teaches healing is incredible. So anyways, that's a side note. So if you want some, some teaching, some amazing, great teaching on healing, let me know and I can send that link out. But um, so I grabbed this book that our good friend, um, Javier is his name. Anyways, that Javier had um, mailed us. He just wanted to bless us. And he mailed us some books on Curry, by Curry Blake. And I picked up one of them and I just started reading it. And it's actually like just a really small you know, book, and I'm trying to think of the exact title right now, but it's about dominion, and, and just like how, you know, dominion of, of the earth was stolen kind of by the devil when Adam and Eve sinned, but Jesus, through dying on the cross, gave dominion back to us, and so we are now rulers of this earth. Unfortunately, a lot of people, a lot of us are not walking around, you know, living as kings and priests, what the Bible says is that we are kings and priests here. 
We're, a lot of us are not walking around living and, and ruling over our situations. Like kings and priests, we're kind of like cowering under this, our situations and being victims and forgetting and or maybe not knowing. Maybe we've never heard. Uh, but, you know, forgetting and not knowing about, um, you know, the authority that we have the right that we have. I've also was been reading a little pamphlet booklet like this big by um, Marilyn Hickey. Uh, amazing little book. Uh, I believe the exact title is called um, Healing Our Benefit. I'm pretty sure that is the exact title. You can look that up. Healing Our Benefit. I ordered it just off Amazon um, along with a bunch of other books by her, but amazing because she again talks about healing with it from a totally different perspective. Now, you guys probably all know, I have been listening to Andrew Womack for years and gotten so much out of him. I listened to a number of other people. Um, and then these are just two other newer people that I have just recently started learning from. And it's just amazing to hear different people's perspectives on healing because it gets your mind to grab a hold of it in a different way and just roots out maybe bad religious thinking that you've had about it or bad wrong misconceptions that maybe you've adapted from your childhood or just ways or experiences of things that have happened to you or you've been through. Um, so anyways, it just kind of like weeds out different things. It puts things in totally different, um, puts things in a totally different way for you that you, you know, you're learning it in a different way and then you can translate that out in your life in a different way and put, put these different things to work for you. Um, so anyways, start, been reading that and it's just been, Amazing. I have learned so much. So anyway, so going back to the pain that I was having in my back. So through parent and everything, I felt like the Lord was saying, you know, um, kidney, like my kidney there. And I'm like thinking, what in the world? You know, I have never had kidney issues. Um, never get bladder infection, you know, like kidney bladder stuff can be affected. Like I never get bladder infections or never once have I ever had a, had a kidney infection. I don't have problems with this. So wasn't really quite sure what was going on, but I texted a bunch of my friends and just to mention that makes my, me smile because it was just so amazing because I tell you what, I had got so many awesome text messages coming back from friends of mine that were getting words of knowledge and words of wisdom from God for me. Um, they had beautiful prayers for me. They had beautiful scriptures that God was giving them for me. I was able to read all of those and it just took away any doubt and fear that I was having associated with this pain, with the pain that I had been experiencing. And it taught me so much because usually I'm the type of person that when I deal with an issue and I deal with something, I'm just like, no problem. Like I got this. You know, I don't need anybody to pray for me. I don't want to bother people. You know, I'm good. Like I just pray for this myself. I receive from Jesus. I'm good. You know, and that is typically how you can receive healing. And I think that that's typically how we all want to he receive healing is through that way. We don't want to have to rely on other people, but what is so awesome and such a blessing was one, I realized like, and I just, if, if anyone who is watching this, who, um, you are one of the people that, um, prayed for me and gave me, um, some words of wisdom and some, some knowledge from God. Um, first of all, thank you so much. I love you so much. Um, but God just really used you to show me, um, for one, just how loved I am. And that made me just feel so loved and, um, just how people like are okay with you texting them and they're okay with you asking them to pray over you. And I'm typically that person that, you know, I'm, I'm the one that's praying for people. So I think it was just a little different and awkward for me you know, to have to, I mean, I just, I wasn't too used to like getting prayer for people because when I received my healing, uh, my first initial time that I ever received healing for acne was just me receiving from God. So I didn't have a lot of experience with people praying for me because from that point, all I knew really was just, I just received from God and that's awesome. And that's great, but it's okay. And that's, that's the best, like I was saying, like, that's the best. That's the number one way that we want it to be done. But it's okay to ask for help, especially when you're growing weary a little bit from experiencing something like pain and it's hurting really bad and you just need to tie your faith with someone else's faith and you need to hold on tight and just, you know, praise God because you know their faith is super strong. Your faith is super strong together. You're dynamite. And that's reminding me of a scripture right now that says, um, where two or more agree as touching anything, it shall be done by my Father who is in heaven. So that is beautiful right there. You can, when you pray with someone else 
and you're agreeing together. You're linking up together and you can apply that scripture to your situation and God's word never returns to him void, right? So beautiful. So then after that, okay, this is minute, this is already 10 minutes. So this is crazy. I try to keep these videos short. So this is going to be part one and hold on while I come back for part two. Thank you guys.